okay uh, now you're going to create uh, rest of the jail accounts you see here we have created the retaining earnings account so we need to create a jail account for each and every items you can see here in this balance sheet so let us do it now okay we will go to the same step where we created the retaining earnings Accounting, general financial accounting, general ledger, after the cost, jail accounts, individual processing, centrally. Alright. Choose this. Before that, I will explain later what is the difference between chart of accounts and company call later. Okay. For now, you just choose centrally. Change the company code to Sun. Then here, we are going to create this one building so before that go to the account groups and check the range all right come here okay it's fixed asset right buildings supposed to be parked under fixed assets so you choose 1000 the range supposed to be starting with 1000 sorry not 1000 uh, one uh, five zeros okay you enter this let's see what happens does not exist yes it does not exist you have to choose jail account create yeah all right now you choose fix assets okay then you choose balance sheet then you just copy and paste so i can just get directly key in building i'm going to copy and paste building building here this one just leave it, no need to enter anything. Come here, field status group, choose assets. This one, assets accounts. Okay, remember I told you that uh, for now you don't need to bother about the field status group because I'll explain this in the uh, additional training section later on. So for now, just accept this existing field status group this field status group uh, the reason we are choosing the field status group is because uh, there is a place in IMG where we can uh, actually co configure uh, whether this jail account when the when the user posts a transaction using this jail account what are the fields that are supposed to be seen by him or what are the fields that are supposed to be hidden shown and uh, accepted for uh, input okay this that's what is controlled by this field series group so i'm going to show it to you later so for now just accept this all right and uh, what else let's save it before see okay let me just save this first all right what happens uh, if i choose uh, uh, what you call number or what you call, uh, number series which does not correspond to this group let us try it now I'm going to choose okay let me show it to you later after we created okay everything now machinery machinery is supposed to be a different account but still under uh, account group fixed assets so I just choose I just increment by one this is this okay create fix assets now here machinery copy paste copy paste go here field status group asset accounts save it save it okay now it's done current assets current assets since it has got a different category here the number range will be different as well let us check what is the number range for the current assets uh, i'm looking at the wrong chart of accounts are you supposed to be looking at this sun okay be careful about that our chart of account is sun right okay look at here current assets two thousand two one two five zeros let me copy that 
so any karana source that, that it create supposed to be having this number series enter create choose karana sets here make sure it's just balance sheet uh, cash in hand because this is a balance sheet account right so you need to specify that it's a balance sheet account cash in bank and go to here choose let me see whether there's any special one for current assets no there is no special account for current current assets yeah I can choose this bank account yeah I can choose bank accounts okay this is a field status group for bank accounts save it done now cash in hand okay still current assets so I just increment this by one so that it has got a number series of two current assets balance sheet account Paste it here, paste it here, and choose the same bank accounts. Okay, I don't have anything for cash accounts, so I just choose this, which is the closest. Mm -hmm. Safe, safe. Okay, now <coughs> materials. Let me just change this to materials because in SAP we don't call stocks as stocks; we call materials. So better follow the same naming convention materials so I need to create an account for materials let me just check what's that number series mm, uh, materials is current assets right okay still to series 2 let me just change to 2 create current assets balance sheet materials put it here copy paste come come here fill series group materials account yes you can choose this fill series group save it ignore this message is done so what else trade debtors trade debtors is still current asset just increment this to three Use this create create current assets mm -hmm. trade that does pin make sure you cannot specify this as a PL account it's supposed to be a balance sheet account this is very important Okay, there's one important thing I need to tell you about this trade debtors. For trade debtors, it is considered as a reconciliation account. Okay, you know what is a reconciliation account if it's uh, if you know accounting. So I have a list of reconciliation accounts we chosen. I define this as a reconciliation account for customers. Okay, go here. There's a special field status group for reconciliation accounts. For all the reconciliation accounts, we just choose this. This is not a big deal, okay? Even if you choose the wrong one, it doesn't really give a big impact during the postings. You will if you choose the wrong one, the wrong fields will be hidden, the wrong fields will be available for input. So, it's not a big deal, okay? Don't worry too much about this. I'm going to show you how to control that. Save it. Yeah, save. Right now we're going to create this section here. Capital. Let's go fast here. Then long-term liability. What's the number range? Long-term liability should be having number series three. Uh, let me just copy and paste. Oh, sorry. Here. Yep. Long-term liability. It's a balance sheet account. Copy and paste capital come here I choose general okay save save bank loans 
now bank loans is here create long term liability still bank loans bank loans field series group of general save it current liability is three creditors so last one we need to create let me just check what is the number range for current liability. Current liability is this four series. Go here. Create. This account for 400,000 has already been created in company. Yes. Remember, we created this for return earnings. So we can't use this account anymore. We have to increment one. Yep. Now we can do it. Yes, we can. Current liability. What is that? I want to create. Yeah, trade creditors. Paste it here. Paste it here. Remember, trade creditors is also a recon account for vendors. Choose that here. Just now we chose customers. Choose this one. Come here. Field series group. Recon account. Done. Save it. Oh yeah, you know why? This one. It cannot be a PNL account. Let's make sense. Current liability. All right, it's done. We have created all the jail accounts required. So remember, I was telling you what will happen if I choose the wrong series and I still define as a current liability. Let's do it now. Let me just simply enter nine series. Okay, current liability is supposed to have series of current liability for this four series right but I'm going to use 999 and define it as a current liability let's see what happens current liability see get this message check account group C L I A only defined for accounts from this number range so it doesn't accept this so if we get error message like this hmm? if I get an error message like this Account group C L I A. This stands for current liability. See this. See this here. C L I A. This is a code that we have defined for current liability, and it's saying that only defined for accounts from range. This range. So it doesn't accept this number because it doesn't fall in this range. Hmm. Okay. I just wanted to show you that. All right. Yeah, just cancel it. No. And we are done. Let us go to the next topic.